President Hassan Sheikh Mohamud participated in a United Nations Security Council session focusing on Somalia. Usually the country is represented by its UN ambassador. This event gave the president a chance to exchange ideas with other interested parties. The African Union is pulling 2,000 peacekeepers out of Somalia at the end of June. Al-Shabaab has been dislodged from over 70 locations across Somalia during the current offensive. This also benefited from ongoing ATMIS advisory support on the importance of compliance with the international humanitarian law, human rights law, UNHRDDP, and protection of civilians. It is clear that the SSF-led offensive, with support from ATMIS and international partners, has put a Shabab under operational pressure. Hassan Sheikh was happy to share his own positive take on the fight against terrorism. The Somali National Army has made significant strides in the fight against Al-Shabaab in partnership with local communities. Over the past year, we have witnessed the recovery of more than 70 towns from the, from the grip of the terrorist group, resulting in opening of the main north-south transportation routes and of vast areas of rich farmland in the country. The Somali leader appeared to address the pause in the war against the terrorists. Looking ahead, the next phase in our fight against terrorism is Operation Black Lion. The op this operation, which is still be the most critical offensive, aims to liberate nearly all the remaining Al-Shabaab controlled territories across the country. With the support of our frontline states, Kenya, Ethiopia, and Djibouti, we are confident that this campaign will significantly degrade Al-Shabaab and pave the way for a sustainable peace and security. The UN has been active in Somalia in addressing the tragic circumstances resulting from the long drought. I went to Somalia just last month and I saw for myself how conflict, and climate change are conspiring to destroy the lives and livelihoods of millions of Somalis. I was horrified and heartbroken by what I witnessed. Violence, fear, and starvation are a daily reality there. The Somali president mentioned some of the efforts his government has made to fight drought and flooding. On the humanitarian side, we have been able to avert famine through our sustained partnership with the United Nations and the general support from the United States and other donors. However, we remain committed to maintaining an effective and sustained response to ongoing drought, prioritizing the well-being of our people. Somalia's leader addressed the subject of education using a personal story. We are committed to scaling up access to quality education and health services, especially for women and youth. As a former educator, I know how education can break the cycle of poverty. I grew up in a small rural community, and after my dad passed away, my mother struggled to ensure that I get an education. She was unable to read and write, and still she checked my homework regularly by seeing whether there, are, there were any red marks on the notes. He described his government's teacher recruiting program with 10,000 to be deployed around the country. The Somali president also bragged about business growth in Mogadishu. Today, our capital is undergoing a remarkable transformation. Mogadishu's housing sector is experiencing a boom and businesses are opening daily in the sectors of retail, hospitality and healthcare, among others. This progress not only instills hope in our citizens, but also attracts investment and fosters a conducive environment for growth. Despite some unrest back home, Hassan Sheikh painted a Somalia moving forward confidently. ADN TV will continue to report on diplomatic developments affecting Somalia around the world.